What is up guys, Zach Scott here playing Animal Crossing New Horizons. Hello there everyone, right now in Astoria, it's 3.45 p.m. on Thursday, April 23rd, 2020. Right now to encourage eco-friendly behavior here on Astoria, we're celebrating Nature Day. That's interesting, May 4th is the final day of special activities. Now let's get in the eco-friendly spirit, everyone. <laughs> now for additional announcements. Uh, Nook's Cranny is celebrating its grand reopening today. That's good news. Word is the shop is a lot bigger now and they have more products on display than ever before. Anything that makes my shopping trips more exciting is okay by me. And of course, we'll be holding a special ceremony to celebrate the happy news. If you are interested in participating and have the time, please check in with Tom Nook at Resident Services. And with that, I'll get back to work supporting you and your enjoyment of our island. Very cool. Very cool news. Um, I have some news of my own today. I saw it as I was loading the game in, uh, but I'll tell you in front of my microphone. Uh, guys, Leaf is here. Leaf is here selling plants and stuff. This is the brand new April update. I don't know if you guys knew this, but it's the brand new April update. A bunch of new stuff is going to be happening. I'm super excited about it. Let's check uh, our mail first. Oh, actually, thank you. I, I, I always... <coughs> into the microphone. I always check the stats before I start recording, and the first episode has over two and a half million views. Thanks to you guys leaving over 49,000 likes. And guess what? I can't believe this, but the first episode has surpassed 5,000 comments. The community here is very vocal. I love hearing from you guys. So now let's uh, let's get on with the gameplay here. Let's see what's inside uh, the mailbox. Uh, Liz from... Okay, so Flick sent me another... Okay, a lot of stuff. Nintendo. First up, Nintendo directly is contacting me? What the heck? Thank you for downloading the update. We'd like to give you a present to show our appreciation. Please remember to keep an eye out for future updates as well. Of course. I mean, the game auto-updates. Let's see what Nintendo sent me. And there's a weed right in front of my house. No. <laughs> and then, um, let's see what present they sent. I can finally sell some of these fish and stuff I was holding on to. I've done some work around the museum area. I actually demolished the bridge. And I'm going to put it back up today uh, because it, it was one off. It was one off from what I ultimately decided I wanted. Not from what I wanted originally, but it's a world map. That's kind of cool. I bet I can hang that up. Um, what else are we doing? Oh, yeah. Let's check the mail for some more stuff. Flick sent Bank of Nook. Dear Zach, we are writing to inform you that we have reduced the interest rate offered to all savings accounts. As an, apo what? As an apology for any inconvenience, please enjoy the attached gift. We appreciate your business. This is how Nook treats me after I pay off my house. He's like, yeah, you've already paid off your house, so I can't really make anything else from you, and thus I'm not going to even give you the benefit of a high interest rate on your savings account. Wow, Nook. Thanks a lot, buddy. I, I play this game to escape reality. Hello? <laughs> what, but what kind of gift did they give me? Let's see. Nook. Hold on. There's a butterfly over here that looks pretty cool. Uh, I don't know how much they sell for it, but I don't see these as often, so I assume... No, 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 no. Oh. He clearly got away. There's nothing I can do to vault over there. Psych is over here. Get him, guys. There he... Oh, come on. You see what he did to me? Let's run up here, then. I see you, butterfly. Wabam. I always forget what these are called, but this is the uh, Grius butterfly. Nice. And then um, back to the mailbox. Back to the mailbox. I know we all want to see Leaf, uh, but we got a lot of stuff done. Flick. Uh, behold, my piece inspired by the hermit crab. So place that in my pocket. I know what that is. Nook Shopping sent me the Switch. Uh, the KK Marathon. Uh, the Fortune Cookie Cart. Marketplace. You know what? We're going to run out of space. Tom Nook just sent me a letter. I'm writing to advise you that some special Nook, Plus, Nook Miles Plus activities that are available from now until May 4th. All part of our Nature Day event. Yes, yes. I do hope you'll come see me for more details. And then Liz from Rose Bay. Would you, will you be my hot dog king? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I do have a crown now. Uh, let's see. Open it up. And then a ring. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what does the ring do? Place the item. <laughs> All right. Well, <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I, I am married, but <laughs> let's see. World map present. Uh, what was sent here? Bell bag rug. That's, from, that's what I got for... All right, well, here's something. I mean, I did, you know, play, play the stock market right so I can absorb this uh, deduction in my interest. Uh, but what the heck? What the heck? Bell bag, rug, spread out. But there is plenty of room. Can you not put things on top of a rug? Oh, there we go. There we go. Nice. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I, if I, could, I can center that. 
Uh, this is my money room right now. There's like literally nothing on it. How do I can't even get to the rug though? <laughs> oh wait, or can I? No, I don't know. Forget about it. It's off center. We'll just have to deal. Um, what else do we got here? We got uh the world map. Hold on, let's see what the world map looks like up here. This is a new gift. I, we're gonna see leaf. Don't worry about it. Um, boom, beautiful. And then uh cute music player. Put in storage. Uh, weeds. Yeah, just get rid of these. I have a I have those in storage as well. Uh, present. This is a hermit crab model. Uh, I know where to put that. The Nintendo Switch. Open that up. The KK Marathon. The fortune cookie cart. Uh, the ring. Yeah. Um, so, here's the thing. I ordered a bunch of stuff. We'll get it, we'll get it later. Put in storage. There we go. I want to go now. Uh, I'm just putting that in storage. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're going to sell some stuff. I got bells. I'm going to pay off for, you know, another bridge. <laughs> and then, uh, we'll do some work around the island. We'll visit the museum. And, uh, I hear that you need to talk to Blathers for the museum. I'll check the rest of my mail later. Uh, so, uh, let's go. Oh, wow. Right in front of Pashmina's house. Really? That's fine. We can deal with that. We can deal with that. Boom. I'm going to move her house very soon. I just would like to maybe get the neighborhood started up first. Uh, let's do 10,000 bells. And plant that. Bury and hole. There we go. Don't worry. We're going to see him. He's over here. Leaf, bro. What's up? Leaf is here. Very exciting. Hold on. There's an announcement. Uh, shop remodel notice. Great. Renovation notice. We got those. Uh, so here's the thing. Check out what I've done. I removed the bridge. I'm going to move this out one more. I'm going to uh, keep it four wide. Don't worry about that. But here's what I've done. Up here, I've uh, I've, I've kind of made the waterfall area. I don't know if I actually want it to be a pond up there. If I do want it to be a pond, I probably want it to be a little bigger. And uh, thus, I would move it back too. But for now, this is what we got going on. You come up here. And you, uh, you got a railing. Now, I was thinking, like, do I really want railing here? What if there's a fish down here? But how often do I fish? If I'm fishing in a tournament, then, you know, I can remove the railing. If, uh, if I, and I need, you know, need the speed. But if not, I just run down here, cross the bridge that I took away, go up, and then fish. So that's what I'll be doing. And then, um, over here, let's see what else we got. Uh, yeah, I've been just kind of patting this out, building this up. Houses are back there, but those are going to all move too. And there's going to be a staircase up here to another level. And the reason there's another level is because I got to make use of this space. I got to make use of this space. I wanted there to be a water feature, uh, but you know you can only go so high with this. And so the water feature is off to the side. And I think that looks okay. Maybe I'll put a fountain up there. I don't know. Uh, so, Leaf. Leaf is here. Just explaining what I was doing kind of off camera a little bit. And uh, we'll build all that out again. And this is going to be a fairly large like public area. And there's going to be one on the opposite end too. It's probably going to be outdoor seating for some sort of a restaurant. Leaf, my buddy, my pal. What is up? Leaf, hey yeah, hey yeah, and welcome. What should I call you, friend? Zach? Did you say Zach? <laughs> what a happy name. Oh, yes, and I'm Leaf. All right. I heard that my good pal Timmy started a shop here, so I thought I'd pay him a visit. Timmy told me this was a deserted island before you moved here. What a happy adventure. I bet you were up to your ear holes and weeds when you first arrived. But the island itself is a blank canvas that you can paint however you like. Uh, yeah, I was up to my ear hole and weeds. But guess what? I turned it around. I started a profitable business where I sold them to Timmy and Tommy. And now look at me. I'm a king of this island. Uh, <laughs> let's see. I hope some of the rare flower seeds and shrubs I brought with me will be featured in your final masterpiece. Uh, what's a shrub? That's a new thing, by the way, in Animal Crossing New Horizons. Oh, what a happy coincidence. Uh, not not new, like, overall new in the series, but I don't think. Uh, oh, what a happy coincidence. I was thinking about thinking to myself that shrubs are too often overlooked. Shrubs are kind of like trees, little trees. Or are they more like flowers, but bigger? However, you see them, what matters is that they bloom seasonally and add something special to a garden. By the way, today I'm selling the happiest shrub I know, the azalea. And lucky for us, it's currently in season, so we don't have to wait to appreciate its lovely blossoms. Anyway, uh, meeting you has been a true pleasure. I hope to see you again soon, Zach. So great. How do I access the shop? Give me your azaleas. I'm so happy to see you again. What can I do for you? I'm here to shop. Wait, hold on, wait. Let's talk weeds. What's? Oh, Zach. 
Are you interested in selling weeds? I d no, I'm not. I need them for crafting. <laughs> Actually, right now. Uh, yeah, I know how it feels to start pulling weeds and suddenly realize, wow, this could take a while. Exactly. I had a feeling. But gardening should make you happy, Zach. <laughs> Which is why I decided to buy weeds from you at a very special high price point. <laughs> high. And if you act now, I'll double what the Nooklings are offering. That's 20 bells per clumps of weeds. Okay, I'm going to have to do it. It's a win-win. You get paid for that uh, all that hard work you put into pulling weeds. And I get to enjoy your pristine, weed-free island landscape. So, can I buy your weeds? I don't, I don't have them right now, though, on me. Ah, so it goes. If you change your mind, I'll be happy to do business with you. But the business that I do want to do is Azalea's. I'm so happy to see you again. What can I do for you? I'm here to shop. Oh, yes. I'd love to introduce you to all the little seeds and saplings I've got with me today. So, we got Azalea's, Pink Azalea Start, White Azalea Start, Orange Tea Olive Start, and then Yellow Tea Olive Start. So, I'm going to be getting all of these. And then we also have Red Cosmos, Red Rose Bag, White Cosmos Bag, White Rose Bag. So, Red, White and yellow cosmos so i know that ashley was wanting some cosmos i think but i don't remember what color so there's red white and yellow i don't know which ones to buy right now but i have some for her already uh so i could check in my inventory but these i want pink azalea starts a perfect wonderful selection and they're available in bulk how many would you like i'll take five so these are just starts all right, so I'll plant them and see, you know, what happens. And I'll, I'll get all of them. Yeah, I'll, I'll get, like, another five. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. If they, can you breed these? I, I don't even know how, how they work. But I'll take another five. And then I'm going to get some more and more. And I'm going to get my inventory all squared away. And then I'll also figure out what is, what types of Cosmos and stuff I need to buy for Ashley. Uh, but she might have Leaf in her town as well selling Cosmos, so who knows. So I'm gonna buy some more of these, and uh, we're gonna you know, take five, and I'll skip right through uh, the rest of this. All right, guys, I'm back. By the way, this is my updated house. It looks pretty cool, right? Cool color scheme, and uh, my house is complete. <laughs> by the way, well, not complete in the sense that it's decorated, because it's not. It just got bells in it, which is a good decoration, I would say. So yeah, I have some uh, bushes. Uh, on me. I bought five more of the Pink Azalea Starts. Uh, I'll buy some more later. But uh, let's go to the Able Sisters just for a chat. You know, they're going to give me maybe give me a new recipe or whatnot. I can change my clothes, uh, send the rest of my clothes back to my place. Uh, oh, I could be a pilot. That's pretty cool. Hey there. Welcome to Able Sisters. I know the drill. Over here, we got uh, <laughs> the duck. Sup, Sable. Oh, Zach, I was hoping you'd come by today. I made a new pattern fabric for you to try out. All right, great. She keeps giving me these pattern fabrics. I don't know if she does anything else eventually, but for now, it's pattern fabrics. I hope you have fun with them. They made them special for me. I haven't even looked at them yet. Like, she makes all these things for me. I haven't even taken a gander. So let's go into the fitting room. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of wearing a business suit now, but I can change things up. Camo. Hold up. Striped shirt. That's pretty cool. I have striped pants, I think. Right? I think I do. I don't remember. I think I do. Uh, Kung Fu pants. I wear these around the house a lot. Like that. I don't know what I didn't know they're called. Kung Fu pants, Desert Princess. Uh, oh, suspender outfit. That's a pretty stylish look. This is like what I would actually wear, like IRL, if I dared wear suspenders. And I could be a pilot. I don't have to be a pilot though. I could be a freaking duck. <laughs> Let's be a pilot. I'd rather go with pilot. I think. I don't know, man. So much to think about and do when you're creating new styles. Uh, wingtip shoes? I could go with black. I don't think I have any of those yet. And that's a pretty fashionable look. I, I don't know. I could go, like, really classy. Class it up. I'm, I don't want to be a duck pilot, though. <laughs> Launch pad. Uh, so, yeah. I mean, that's an interesting look for sure. Let's just go with it. Let's just go with it. Purchase. Yes, please. I look great. Let's wear what I want to wear. <laughs> Fantastic. Wow, that's a great look on you. Thanks for coming by. I'll go ahead and ship what you yeah, got. Ship it home. Cool. We got to check out Nook's Cranny and see not only how it... I want to see how it looks. I want to see how Nook's looks in my area because it's a new building. Let's do it. Over here. Oh, yeah. Nice. I'm going to be putting some flowers or bushes up here. 
I don't know about the sign. I don't know how helpful it is to have signs <laughs> around the town. Because, I mean, I don't know. But we'll, we'll figure it out. I, might, I don't know what I'll put here. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. One thing I was going to do, though, is go inside. Get the double doors. And that looks good. I don't think you can push it any further in. Because if you can, I will totally do that. But hey, Marshall's here. Welcome to our newly renovated and expanded shop. I'm so glad you stopped by to visit us on our very first day in action. We hope you'll continue shopping with us here at Nook's Cranny. Cranny. <laughs> so, uh, I got a briefcase. What is the heck is the briefcase? Oh, I think I've seen this. Oh, I got a light. Let's move, Marshall. Get a light. What color is this? Seems like you're interested in floor light. Yeah, I don't think I am because uh, I actually... Yeah, I'll pass. The reason I'll pass is because uh, I think I've accessed all the lights now. Hey, because we, we, we all went to Yashi's Island and, and held put our hands on some lights. Hey, Zach. Fancy meeting you here. What's the latest? Here to check out the remodel, too. I know we're a little late to the party, but the selection is still pretty good. Plus, the after party is the one you want to go to. Haha. <laughs> there you go. One more time. All right, you got my attention. What's up, Sulky? Ah, I just love having a broad selection of things to shop for. After all, what's the point of living on a remote island if you can't have every single thing you ever wanted? <laughs> Agreed. What is this? This is like a high value item. Seems like you're interested in an aluminum briefcase. Let's see. That's 100,000 bells. Of course, I'll buy it. <laughs> Excellent purchase. <laughs> all right. And then what What I just get done here? Uh, oh, Nook Miles Plus. Uh, limited time activities. Uh, plant shrub starts. We'll do that. Uh, earn bells by selling items and selling shells. Probably knock both of those out with one hit. And then, um, so uh, let's let's do that one. What do we? What do I get done here? Remarkable remodeler. You finished remodeling your home house, hmm? All right. I guess I did. I guess. Did I though? Home transformer. All right. Cool. Uh, oh yeah. I guess you just do it multiple times. You get that done. Bell ringer. Spending your bells on the island helps revitalize the local economy. There we go. Covetous personality. And then, um, what else? Anything else? No, we're good. We good. We be good. We be good. Let's see what else is in store here. There's a kettle. I don't think I have the kettle. Simple kettle. Let's get it. I'll buy it. And then, uh, what's in here? Curious about what's in the cabinet. Here's what we have today. Today. So we got new nets. What the heck? Star net. Flimsy net. We got colorful watering can. We got colorful tools. I don't like the colors, but we got colorful tools here. <laughs> uh, let's see. Interesting star net. I don't know, man. What do you guys think? And we got a bunch of flowers. Uh, any other recipes or anything? Vaulting? No. Timer. I don't know what that does. Wireless streams. Two wrapping papers. We got a bunch more wallpapers as well. Ooh, a ship deck. That's pretty cool. All right. Well, we'll just leave it at this. I don't need to buy much right now. Um. Okay, good. Yeah, we're good. We're good. I need to buy... Uh, I think I still have enough money to buy it to, to do the... Uh, do the do the bridge I want to do. I want to see if Red is here. Red is, is supposed to be coming soon. Uh, first, though, let me start up construction stuff uh, because I just want to double check and make sure that I can't uh, do a texture, you know, up to that point. Because if I if I could move this forward one, that'd be great. But I don't think I want to remove it. Honestly, let's see what we got in terms of texture. Just out of curiosity. No, we know we can do that. No, good, good. But what I did want to do, uh, let's finish uh, strolling around the island. I really need to maybe uh, maybe need to deal with my inventory a little bit before we continue on, though, because there's a lot of stuff out here, and I do. I, I, it's almost full, right? Yeah. Let me fix. I should. I forgot to sell the things at Timmy and Tommy's. That's what I forgot to do. I forgot. Not only can I shop, but I can also sell. It's like a you know any other like it's like a GameStop. <laughs> so let's sell uh here we go welcome uh i want to sell and then what yeah what are we offering here we got i got the hermit crab this 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 simple kettle aluminum brief yeah sell, sell everything right back i do that sometimes to make space and then what's this 
gas mask sell. I, I can get that later if I want to. All right, a lot of stuff I buy from Abel's I just to unlock it. So sold for six thousand. And let me do some inventory management. I'll be our B, but first, uh, oh yeah, I got this done. Yep, of course. Nook Miles, got it. Inventory management time for Zach. Okay, just a note, uh, Red will be visiting the secret beach here. So you're gonna want a path to it. I don't know what I'm gonna do to make a path to it, but you don't really need one. You can just climb down, like right here. Uh, but yeah, Red will be visiting this area uh, soon, I guess. I don't know when. And I know I have a bunch of fossils in my ground, uh, but I already finished my fossils and I'm just gonna leave them there for now. <laughs> so I don't know, you know, I mean, I guess I could dig them up and sell them for now and uh, we'll see what happens with that. Uh, Cause there's another one. There's a little pond with a fish in it. There's a stick. I wanna see if I can get, I don't think I can. I think they're they're up and about, but I'd be really curious if I could get into Cats or Apollo's area. Uh, you know, finding the money rock is still a priority for me. Um, let's go ahead and blast this with my shovel. It's not it. <laughs> so that's okay. But we'll, um, what we're going to do is we're going to, I'm going to finish up. I mean, I do a lot of this off camera because it can get tedious, but I know exactly what I want to do. So and it shouldn't take long. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish up, uh, the river path that I've been trying to, trying to finish. And then, um, let's see over here. Anything. There's a bug. Oh, there's a, that, that's a bug I can catch. I can sell that. That's a pretty bug. Excuse me. I could keep it in case I see like two more. That'll be a nice statue to have if uh, Flick comes back around soon. An orchid mantis. I don't know how long they last. You know, that's the thing. Like, it's gonna be if if you're someone who like really wants like all the like what happens if you decide like next month that like oh you know what I'll, I'll take all the uh, bug models and then you haven't been even you know catching the ones in like you know March and April that. You, you know will expire so it's gonna take you a long time to get all the bug models unless you just trade or something like that online which is that definitely a possibility um but you know so I, I i'm not gonna have that goal by the way <laughs> so um cherries are here yeah we can sell fruit anyone in their house that i can go visit all right hopper's in his house i think this is hopper's house <laughs> eventually i need to work on a neighborhood and then, uh, hey, Hopper. Looking good, dude. Keeping things frosty. Look at that. We got a snowman in here. Nice of you to stop by, uh, kiddo. Let's chat. I hear our visitor, Ash, has a secret identity. Reckon they go by, also go by the title of Responsible Beach Bum. Might be wise to come up with my own alias in case I never need to skedaddle, slushy. In case I need to skedaddle. All right. I like how he has the winter trees in the background. That's a pretty cool thing. I don't know if those would even be available for me to craft or get or whatever. Well, I guess, I don't know. Maybe if I deal with another hemisphere. Uh, Anka's in her house. Let's go visit Anka. And I don't know if Kat's going to be in her house or what. I don't know what the deal is, but we'll see. I kind of wish you could change the... Oh, she is crafting. Cat. Well, well, you seem awfully interested in what I'm making. Yes, I got to know. Well, you see, I'm working on a Cosmos shower. It's a DIY crafting project, my dear. I was daydreaming, you see, and the design came to me. Then, just like that, I made it happen. Oh, you already know how to make a Cosmos shower, don't you? I sure do. Of course. I should have known. I'd expect no less of you, Zach. Well, I've made a recipe card. I do want more folks to try making the Cosmos shower. If you know anyone interested in DIY projects, it would be lovely if you shared this with them. All right. Sure enough. Sure enough. Mark my words, you meow. If this recipe catches on, everyone who's anyone is going to want a Cosmos shower. <laughs> All right. There's a golden toilet over there. Cosmos shower. So, yeah, I, do, I don't remember where I learned that. <laughs> I, I don't remember at all. Uh, there's Cat. She's out and about. Sup, Cat? Yo, Purdy, what's the word? I want to chat. This weather rocks. Feels like anything I do is going to turn out awesome, Purdy. And then what else? Yeah, what's up, Purdy? Hey, Zach, anyone ever tell you how awesome you look with that net? So what, what what bugs are you after today? Whatever it is, I hope you catch it, Purdy. Thank you. I look good with the net. That's what all the girls say. And we'll see where we're going to go. Uh, the Marshalls? But I already talked to Marshall. This is Marshall, right? This is Marshall. It's white like his coat. He's working out. Barely, though. Welcome to the Casa de Marshall. That's Spanish for Marshall's crib. Let's chat. You know who I've been thinking about lately? 
Mouse. You know, from Elysium, I wonder what they've been up to lately. Mouse is my friend who I play Splatoon with. He came by and got some stuff. Sulky, what have you gotten in yourself into? What's the latest? Were you the one who's been working on our river and irrigation system so much lately? Sulky, that's so cool. Any chance you could terraform a hot tub in my yard? Haha! <laughs> he really does want me to do that, though. He's not joking around. He wants me to do it. Let's terraform a couple things, then we'll plant some bushes. And then uh, I guess we'll be done with today's episode. I don't know when uh, Red's coming, but the art dealer, you know, he'll be here soon. Uh, so yeah, here's the river. This needs to come out one more. Uno mas, I need to build the bridge. And so what you do is you go in, and I don't know where bushes are gonna go, but uh, you come in here like this and then just start chipping, no. Nope. Chipping away. Here we go, boom. And then we'll, we'll we'll rebuild that bridge. We'll move those flowers. Oh, there's no flowers to move. Good. So yeah, this is basically what I do, and uh, you'll see. I hope you like this. I might switch out the fence up there. I don't know how much I like the blue iron fence, but I might switch out that fence for something else. I might it might not even ultimately have a fence there. We talked about that already. No, don't do that. There we go. I hate when I mess up because it just whoa almost fell in. But for now, I have that fence up there, and it looks good to me. And then I want to plant some bushes. I'm going to replace the flowers in the front, for now, with some bushes. And I think that'll look good, uh, but we'll see when they sprout up. I don't even know how long that's going to take. And I don't know about that pond up there. I might need to widen this area. There we go. That looks good to me. And uh, sure enough, this is going to be what it looks like. And then I'm going to fill it in. There's like so many butterflies. I'm gonna fill it in. Can I even make that jump? It's five across. I can't even make a five across jump. But that's okay. We're gonna fill this in right here. Going back to the water tool. Waterscaping. And then we'll do path tool. And to me, this is gonna look great, I think. I hope I'm right. And Nook's Cranny's done. This is, no, this is coming along quite nicely. I'm pretty proud of this area. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Thus, I need to move Pashmina's house. Thus, I need to, you know, finish the upper area. And this, I mean, I can almost. Can I walk around that? Ha, <laughs> that's pretty cool. Um, so, I don't know what this area is ultimately gonna be. Maybe two trees. Maybe this will be hedges here, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Hedges are like plants that are also fences, right? <laughs> I think that's that's how they're characterized. And then over here we got paths. I'm gonna finish up this stone path right here. Then we're just gonna go lay the bridge down. I finished up my dream home. Uh, bricks go here. I just did a brick path here because something's gonna go here. I just don't know what, and it looks kind of cool. Oh my gosh, you better move, dude. You better move. I'm coming for you, snake. Snake! Let's talk. I think there's th these scaredy fish are just afraid of my huge, bulging muscles, Bunyip. <laughs> I maybe add, added some of the stylization to what he said there. <laughs> so let's just, let's, okay, I don't need to talk to him. Check me out. I'm going to catch the biggest, baddest fish on the island, Bunyip. All right. So, yeah, I need to put that there. We'll do it later. This area looks okay to me. I was going to put hedges here, too, probably. And maybe I was going to put, like, fencing here. And then maybe hedges like right behind here, because what else would you put? You wouldn't want a view of the back of the building, right? It just depends. I'm gonna make some progress. We're gonna work up here. I don't know if I even want this to be a pond up there. That pond doesn't look super healthy. That pond looks a little, little shrinky dinky. So what we're gonna do is we're going to um, maybe, maybe expand the pond up there. Make it a little bit wider like the other ponds? Or just not have a pond? I was thinking eventually I could have space stuff up here. I, who knows what I could put up here? That's the thing, who, who actually knows what I could put up here? If I made it wider, we could have a lot of space. And then this could be my kind of centralized area. What would be good up on top? I don't know. I really don't, I don't know. I know I need to make a tree farm, I need to make a, like a, uh, a flower farm. But that's something I'll work on a bit later. Uh, maybe off camera because it's gonna take a lot of trial and error. So yeah, let me let me know what you think about that. 
Uh, I'll probably put hedges here, bushes here. I can start growing them now. Uh, in fact, we were supposed to, I think, but uh, we'll see how it goes. I'm also going to build a staircase up there. That's for sure, too. But we're going to get the bridge done first, so... Uh, redone, rather. Because that's what we want it to do. They're all, they, they enjoy the area. Look at them. They're just both sitting there. I was like, gah, these two. But they seem to be enjoying it. And then, uh... This is kind of just, honestly, the commons area that I've been... Here, drop this. Sure. We'll figure out what to do with that later. Leaf, buddy, thanks for hooking me up. Let's go over here. And then I, I might have to talk to Blathers to open up uh, some of the stuff here, but we'll see. I'd like to see about uh, Red coming by. So, uh, what's over here? Uh, I, yeah, I, left, I lost the iron. I was doing... I lost it. Claim. Uh, cardboard box, no. And then over here, welcome to Nooks. Okay, yeah, welcome. And then the 300 miles, good. And then, uh, so I don't have, like, look at this. I don't have any more debt. Look at that. No debt for me. I can deposit money, but instead, you know, I'm going to pay off a bridge in a second. So uh, let's check out Nook Miles, what we can redeem. Check it every day, because I'm looking specifically for, uh, like, a Zen-looking fence. I don't know where it is. Uh, and then, you know, I'll probably order, like, five street lamps. Um, also, we got, uh... I'll do that later, too, if I remember. Nook Shopping, uh, Special Goods, what do we got today? Nintendo Switch and a Telescope. I already have both of those. KK Reggae. I think I have KK Reggae. Reggae. Uh... Let's see. KK... Yeah, I do have it. Not that I need it all, but I do have it. So, uh, we're done here, but let me go pick up a bridge. We're not done here. Let me pick up a bridge. I'm curious if I've expanded my, you know, island's rating at all. All right, here he is. We can hold a celebration for Nook's cranny. Zach, for a limited time, we're going to have a special Nature Day promotion for Nook Miles Plus members. During the event, we'll be giving out more miles than usual for your eco-friendly island activities. We'll also have a special gift, so do consider participating in the event, won't you? Of course, it's my hope that island residents will be eco-friendly all the time, not just around Nature Day. I, I seriously doubt Tom Nook cares about the environment. <laughs> this is the construction consultation counter. How can I help you? Well, he might. He's an animal. Uh, but so are humans. Um, let's talk infrastructure. Uh, then I'll hold a ceremony, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, bridge. I want a bridge. I want the Red Zen bridge back. Let's make a bridge. Let's build a bridge. And then uh, I'm going to put it... You know where I'm going to put it. Zin Bridge, baby. It ain't too much. I still have like 7 million. I don't know how I burned through so many millions. Oh, yeah. Paying off my house. Um, yes, please. Yes, please. Excellent. In that case, let's settle on location. All right. I'm out. I'm out. I'm O-U-T out. Hopefully, I can put it up here. I hope none of the animals are in the way. Then we'll build some some uh, bushes. There we go. Bridge. Oh yeah, that's it. That's it. Let me imagine it though. There we go. Isn't that perfect? Okay. Awesome. I like it. I like it. Now, uh, I think I'm going to put bushes here. And, I mean, I think that it's just using the shovel, right? But I don't know which bushes to put in. We got two spaces here. Two spaces here. And uh, is it two over here or three? It's three over here. That's fine. And I hope I don't have to make any changes... I hope I can place a staircase here without moving the bushes. So let's figure out what colors we want. I bought enough. We could, we could just do the same color. Uh, let's do the yellow one. I don't have to. I don't have to water these, do I? Orange tea, yellow tea leaf, olive starts. Let's plant one. There we go. And these will grow. Plant one. There we go. And it's just gonna take some time. There we go. I'm getting some. I'm getting something done. And then I don't know. I, I don't know if I need like to you know eventually have a bush farm. Like eventually I want a flower farm. 
Oh, this is 10. This is perfect. I have 20 on me, but I had 20 on me. So these are, are gonna grow, and then I'm gonna talk to Blathers. And then off camera, I'll probably work on some of this stuff. So let's plant this. There we go. Plant that. I, I hear you need to talk to Blathers about the museum expansion. So I got those done. Uh, let's check our Nook Miles Plus. Uh, I got a uh, plant, yeah, a thousand Nook Miles. Awesome. And then what else happened? We got Shrubbery Hubbery. Different kinds of shrubs usher in the different seasons with their flowers. Yes, yes, folks who plant many shrubs will receive beauty and miles as a reward. I already got, you kidding me, I already got Verdant Wonder. And uh, what's the next one? This one is Unrestrained Sentinel. Nice. And then up next, another 10 will get me the that one finished. But I think we're good. Um, okay. So, um, let's now, uh, and the next I'll build an incline there, but that will have to wait till tomorrow. Let's talk to Blathers and see if anything's new. This is a big update, guys. I hope you guys download it, play it, have fun. And uh, I'm definitely got the green thumb in this game now. Who? Oh dear, pardon me. Why, hello, Zach. Welcome to the Astoria Museum. Why, Zach, I've been meaning to tell you the good news, hooty who. Thanks to your hard work and the support of the good folks of Astoria, the museum can now display more specimens than ever before. Thus, I'm considering adding fine works of art to this fine institution's repertoire. So, if you should find yourself in possession of a piece of art, by all means, please do show it to me. That sounds interesting. Um, I don't know if Red is here now, or if uh, if we're talking about, you know, or if we're talking about him coming tomorrow. I don't really know, but he might be here tomorrow. But let me go ahead and go down the ladder and just, just see. I, I know that you can access that with the quick wheel, I always forget. And then, uh, let's go up here. It's a long path. And I might do fossils off camera, I don't know. There's a fish. Where's my secret beach? It's over here. I don't see him. He'll come by boat, and he'll probably be here tomorrow. So hopefully this has been an interesting episode for you guys. I Oh, one thing. There's a message in the bottle over here. Let's go and get that. And then, uh, yeah, I'll probably sell my cherries. We got uh, Five Star Island Retours resuming today, by the way. I'm going to jump over here, leapfrog it. And then uh, there was a, I saw a message in the bottle. I think it was up here. I didn't want to pick it up until I was back recording. There we go. And then open it up. I really wanted to make an item as like an homage to my fave pop star. Uh, we got woodblock stool, which I already know. Thus, I'm going to drop in uh, that area. So, um, here's the thing. I need to start working on, um, I know I already have a farming section, but this area is probably going to be cut off, and we're going to, like, this river is going to be cut off, paved over, and I'm probably going to build a neighborhood over here. I don't really know. I, I don't know if the neighborhood would look, look work best left to right, probably to the left because there's a little more space, um, so I'm probably going to work on the neighborhood. If, we're just looking at the map right now. Let's pull up the actual map on my, my phone. Um, I'm thinking about doing the neighborhood over to the left here, right around where, uh, you know, Apollo is, basically. And then kind of doing just a little area there. I don't know, though, how long it's going to... I need to move... Man, I hate to... I mean, it's only, it's only bells, but I need to move Snake and Pashmina and maybe even Apollo up so that I can... Uh, or maybe they'll go behind the museum. I don't really know. But if they go behind the museum, I need a path down. And that's going to be the tough part. Is that... Because it just goes straight up. I might need a path down or around. I don't even know. I don't know what's going to go behind there. That's the thing. I need to really think about that. Because there is no way... Ugh, I just realized that. There's no good way. Man. So if I, so we're looking at, okay, let me just, let me, we can visualize it there, but we can also look at it here. So clearly I have a path right here that's going to go across, right? I go across, then what? Do I want to build a path 
up along here uh, such that I can quickly get to this area up here or like do I want a path that I could somehow access via the back here to go up I mean it's a long stroll I would think but man I don't know like how do I want to tra I guess I would I guess I mean I, I'm kind of happy with uh, with the museum kind of being a, a dead end in a way like you can't like go down I mean you don't you can jump down I guess but like with a ladder but you know what I mean like with the museum velvet stool so I need to think about how I'm going to traverse this area is basically what I'm saying so you know I know that you know I have this area here we could do a neighborhood over there and then maybe north of the neighborhood do farms and stuff like just have people all living in this area um, I don't know I don't know how many like like four five over here five on the other side I don't, really don't know I haven't thought about it too much like where I, I have but I haven't like finalized it in my head so the neighborhood's probably gonna go over here and I just don't know I don't know <laughs> I'm trying to figure it out right like right now. I'm trying to like trying to just play it out. I've intruded a lot on this main central area and if I I, I don't have Hmm my plan was to build a staircase up here right to a third level If I wanted to get down to the other side We're talking about like another like two more inclines down from the third level But I don't think we're talking about that. I think what we're trying to figure out is Honestly, I don't even know. Maybe I should just put an incline up here. Or a path through here. <laughs> I just have a path through here. I don't need a third level. <laughs> just like, no, I like the third level being here. I think it looks pretty good. And I can put some cool things over here. And if I wanted the houses to be back there, then, which I don't think I do, but it's not a bad view. You know, once you're up on top, you can see the houses. I mean, that's kind of a cool thing. But if I did want them back there, then we're talking, how do you get to the houses? Well, you come, like, like so how do you, how would you get to, how would you get to the houses from the airport, for example? Like, let's say you're in, you want to go visit someone. You know, where would be the best place? The best place would be a neighborhood that's somewhere over to the left or right of this area. You know, somewhere that's easy to access to this main path, the boardwalk that I've been working on. Um, or, uh, we're talking, uh, oh god, dang it. Okay, <laughs> that's okay. We can get those fixed later. Yashi gave me those. Um, missed. Or we're talking about putting houses on the second row. You know, the second, like a second path that we're gonna have here. But not many. I don't know if we need like a couple different neighborhoods. But if we do, we could do like, maybe we could maybe fit all ten houses around here. I don't know. Um, but then if the houses are here, whoa, what the heck happened to him? He just saw me. Let me see. You want to talk? What's up? Hi, it's me, Deli. I want to chat. The story is the perfect size. Too big to see across, but too small for sea monsters to attack. I knew that. I knew that. Let me go ahead then and uh, finish this now that he's not sitting there anymore. Now that someone's not sitting there anymore. This makes me feel a lot better. You don't even know. Here we go. So, yeah, man, it's tough. And you know, I, eventually I'm gonna ditch the symmetry of this area, even though there's gonna be a little public gathering area here. Eventually the symmetry is gonna start decreasing, especially as we get more and more wherever we wanna go, you know? I'm thinking a farm over here, like a flower farm over here once I move the houses. What did I just get done? Nook Miles Plus. Oh, nice. Catch bugs. So anyway. Um, yeah, let me... I mean, hmm. Let me know in the comments below, of course, if you guys have any ideas. Because I'm curious. I don't think I... I didn't pay off the thing, but I will. The bridge. I can't forget that. I never knew what I thought about sideways waterfalls. But now that I have one, it's not so bad. 
And there's going to be two, one on each side. I still don't know if I should put the pond up there. Like that. I want the pond to look like that. This butterfly is super annoying. It's okay. I see you, butterfly. Ah, oh, I can't get over there. Come back, butterfly. Ha ha. I like three of these now. So, but again, this is why I don't do recording of like me trying to figure out where things go because it's just like takes me like hours to even decide. <laughs> so, hope you guys understand. Come back next time. Red should be in town. I'm happy. I hope you guys are happy. See you next time for more. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help this channel grow, all you got to do is click the like button below. Thank you so much for watching. You can now join and become an official member of Zach Scott Games. And if you want cool shirts like this, visit ZachScott.shop.